Good morning, Forest, and welcome to the daily overview for Monday, the 12th of July, 2021. Uh, I think first things to say is I'm sorry that I'm back here making videos. I'm pretty sure that you'd rather be in class rather than to listen rather than listening to me online. But here goes anyway. So today's reading is a text called Sticks and Stones. It's set out like you would normally expect to see it set out in a reading comprehension lesson. If you follow the video link, I will guide you through the lesson and then complete the questions that go with it. Uh, remember, I is inference, V is vocabulary, D is deductive, L is literal, etc. But again, it's within the video. Your English lesson is a continuation of what we started last week, uh, looking at the Egyptian Snow White. Now, remember, um, we've spent a lot of time looking at the Egyptian Cinderella, which is the story of Cinderella, but set in ancient Egyptian times. So different character names to match the time period, different settings. But the general gist of the story remains the same. Well, we're doing exactly the same thing with converting Snow White. So the main part of the story of Snow White is staying the same. However, the setting will be based in ancient Egypt and the characters will have Egyptian names. So we started working on that during the last lesson, which is where this came in. So where we'd given her a name, we decided to, instead of Snow White, we decided to call her Cleopatra. Uh, the evil stepmother, she became Hatshepsut, the Pharaoh's second wife. The mirror became a statue of a prophet in an abandoned temple in the desert outside of the city of Memphis. The dwarves became the seven slaves, they were pyramid workers. The prince, we decided was Julius Caesar of Rome. The huntsman, <laughs> Elvisus, the temple guard. Um, the setting was in a desert, Memphis and the River Nile. Instead of a poisoned apple, it was poisoned grapes. And instead of a glass coffin, it was a glass and gold sarcophagus. Now, the next stage of this, and the video will guide you through it, is converting that but into a storyboard. So again, you can see it on the screen and you can see it here. What the storyboard is, is it's telling the story of Snow White, but set in Egyptian times. So use the characters that I've just talked about there, and you place the pictures in the top box, and then a brief sentence underneath just to explain what's going on in that part of the story. You're not writing the full story at this stage, it's effectively a plan. So again, look at the video, I'll guide you through that process. Maths, uh, it's a White Rose Hub video, so if you follow that, uh, it's a focus on rounding to the nearest multiple of 10. Uh, the LBQ task for today is also rounding to the nearest 10, so if you need a little bit of extra practice or a bit of a warm-up beforehand, it is there. Your sheet for your maths looks, where I can find out where I put it, it looks a bit like this, with a green heading rounding to the nearest 10. There it is, rounding to the nearest 10. So, um, your... Final lesson of the day, your final full lesson of the day, is an RE lesson. Now, it's continuing making the world a better place, and it's lesson four. So the last lesson was a humanist view, so people who don't believe in God. Today, we're now looking at Islam's view, so Muslim people, uh, how Muslim people view how they can make the world a better place, how the teachings of Islam can make the world a better place. And we're focusing, in this particular case, on zakat, which is uh, one of the five pillars of Islam where they give to charity. So your main task is going to be a research job on this, uh, to research the charities Muslim Hands, uh, Mo Muslim Global Re uh, Relief and Islamic Relief, and just to find out what those, where those charities work, the sort of things that those charities do. And finally, don't forget to log on and complete the daily LBQ tasks. Uh, it's round, As I've already said, it's rounding numbers to the nearest 10, multiplying whole numbers by 10, and identify statements, commands, and exclamations. Remember TT Rockstars, I'm desperate to try and get below that average of two seconds across the class. And I've start, I will have a story uploaded there, which is going to be David Williams' World's Worst Children 2. And the character I've chosen today is Humbert the Hungry Baby. It'll be part one of three. Take care. Let me know if you need any help. Bye-bye.